Wow, Ron, Ellie, I can't tell you how excited we are to have Schmitty, the weather dog, back on the road show. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. We're glad to be here. I can't wait. Yeah, we'll see you out there in a few minutes. Okay. But i got to tell you, the Thursday shows are really the best ones. I mean, it's almost the weekend. We have great energy. We have a stacked lineup of guests here to join us. The only thing that's missing is a pre-show kiss. How about a little kiss from the good doggy? Oh, oh. Oh. I am not kissing you. Oh, well, this is awkward. Oh, I can't wait to post this. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a big morning. Why, you ask? Well, it's always a big morning right here on The Roadshow, but I'm telling you, Schmitty the Weather Dog is back on The Roadshow. Now, if you don't remember who Schmitty is, let's reminisce. A little bit earlier in the show, we introduced you to Schmitty the Weather Dog, and uh, Schmitty does join us again this morning. I mean, look at her. She is a, a woman uh, with, <laughs> lovely, <laughs> with lovely choices of sunglasses. She's festive. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, making her triumphant return to the show here today. Schmitty the Weather Dog, of course, along with meteorologist Ron Trotta and Ellie McGuire, author Ellie. Good morning. Good morning. So nice to see you, Ellie. Welcome. So nice Welcome to see you. Welcome back right there. Pound it up, and Schmitty. May I say hello to Schmitty? Hello. hello, Schmitty. Hello, baby. I didn't get the pre-show kiss, but and it looks like I'm still not getting one. That was <laughs> awkward. That was awkward. All of my segments are, Ellie. But let's get right to it. <laughs> Remind the audience uh, of who Schmitty is, what she does, and really, she just delights audiences. Well, Schmitty the weather dog is a four-pound Yorkshire Terrier with a nose for the weather. That's right. And she has a children's book called Schmitty the Weather Dog Daydream, and it's about a little dog who overcomes adversity to study the weather so she can help her struggling two-legged weatherman dad, <laughs> loosely based on meteorologist Ron, of course. Very loosely. And, uh, and, and we learn from that that you can... No matter what your size, you can do anything if you study hard and work hard, and the kids go nuts. That's right. Schmitty may be petite, but she packs a powerful <laughs> meteorological punch. May I use that? You may. Okay. It was difficult to say. Good luck with it. But Ron, as a meteorologist, do you feel threatened by Schmitty sometimes? Absolutely. <laughs> All the time. But the thing about Schmitty the Weather Dog is that we go to schools around the country. Schmitty's been uh, with the Schmitty the Weather Dog Science Sing Along Show to over 300 schools right. around the country. Actually, 30, more than 30 schools here in Rhode Island uh, to teach kids about science and weather using music and literacy. That's what we do. And really, uh, young children, they really are just sponges. They're absorbing everything. So it's important that we teach them. And if you can use music, if you can use Schmitty, it really takes it to the next level, doesn't it, Ellie? Let me tell you, a cute dog trumps everything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and, and you know what's funny is when we do the show, I'll read the book, and then meteorologists say that faster. <laughs> meteorologist Ron will come on with Schmitty the weather dog. And... Then Ron says, I asked, the, I asked the children, do you think Schmitty's a puppet or do you think she's a real dog? And then we go, <laughs> well, you know, Schmitty's got her glasses on and she says it's dark in here. So we take Schmitty's glasses off and when the glasses come off, so cute. you would think that Beyonce and Jay-Z walked in the room. <laughs> I mean, they go berserk. They it's, go berserk. I'd say it's even better. <laughs> um, but let's talk about the acronym STEM and what that really means because that's kind of the, the jumping off point for the learning experience, correct? Right. Well, you know, there's... They say by 2020, there'll be a million jobs that will go unfilled because they're all STEM-related, science, technology, engineering, and math. Right. And, and kids today are not getting this, you know, the skill sets. They all want to be Kim Kardashian. Not that there's anything wrong, Kim. <laughs> but, you know, Schmitty's cute, but it's also good to have a brain and, you know, you can study hard. Well, I heard Schmitty's going to become a lawyer as well. <laughs> <laughs> She'll have to be. Maybe that's Sorry, next. Kim. And you guys are in town tomorrow, the big appearance uh, in Warwick, correct? Wyman School. Your hometown 350 kids <laughs> their teachers the PTA it'll be a blast everybody will be there and Schmitty will be able to tell you the difference between a tornado and a tomato <laughs> yes, she will. I've always wondered that Very myself big, it's always a big question perhaps I should join the audience <laughs> that day and it just must be you know it's so much fun it must be endlessly rewarding to see the smiles on the kids faces when I leave I am so because we've all had different careers even though we're just 29 years of age <laughs> and when we leave the show we are so jazzed because even if you just touch one child and and it sparks something in their brain that they get excited well, and they want to study stem and in fact little girls they're the target because they're not studying you know those those uh, you know 
uh, those topics. Subjects, yeah. I, I've come up, I think, before we wrap up here with something revolutionary. Uh -huh. I want to get a, a selfie with Schmitty, and we'll call it a Schmelfi. How does that sound, guys? <laughs> right there, huh? Awesome. Su awesome. <laughs> that, would, that would be positive. <laughs> Suitable for framing. Thanks for being here, Ron. Thank a you, pleasure. Brandon. Ellie, love thank you. Show. Thank you. We love you guys. Schmitty, High nice five. to have you here. High I'm going to need those sunglasses back. <laughs> if you guys would like to learn more all about Schmitty, the weather dog, how cute is she? We'll have a link to the book and all the great stuff at roadshow.com.